Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you are watching Domestic Diva. Today I will be making a lantern. This is quite a bit of a lantern. I wanted something to put out on my front porch for spring, summer and fall. And all the ones that I was finding at the store were well over $100 this size. So I went out on a search and I had come up with the plan with some help of Pinterest and um, went out to Home Depot and got some materials. And now I'm going to show you how I'm going to build this pretty big lantern for my front porch. And I also want to mention that this video is in collaboration with my very best friend here on YouTube and in my purse at home. Um, Sandra, her name is Sandra from the Schwann's Nest and she will be making her own lantern which I'm sure is going to be different than mine and I can't wait to see what she comes up with. So after you're done watching my video make sure you hop on over to her channel and watch her video let her know I sent you and show her some love. So without further and if, you, if you're stopping by from Sandra's channel welcome I hope you consider subscribing to my channel I do DIY type of videos thrifting and um, with a bit of cleaning and cooking all mixed in so um, lots to see on my channel so I hope you consider subscribing pressing the notification bell so you can get notified when the new upload is up so without further ado I'm going to get started building this lantern okay so here are the supplies that you will need I had mine some cut at Home Depot and some cut at home so I had bought one 1x2x10, one 1x2x8, one one and one 1x10x4. One by by now I'm going to write it all out for you in the description box. And I had cut my 1x2x10x4, uh, by by which is this one, into so it's 10x10. 10 10. So I cut two pieces like that. And then I took my 1 by 2, two by 10 and cut it into 4. So they're 2.5 feet each. And then um, the 1 by 2 by 8 I had cut into a... Okay. Into 1 5 and a quarter. So four five and a quarter and four seven and a quarter you just want them to fit inside so you might have to measure it out because some of the wood wasn't perfectly as they said and then I also cut uh, four one inch pieces four legs so um, I'm going to get started now you need wood glue clamps and I'm thinking I might need screws but we'll see whether I'm gonna need screws and a screw gun I'm gonna try to do this with wood glue so the first thing that I'm going to do is glue my feet and they're just going to go on the edge here and here, here, here in all corners. This is where I think I'm going to need something. So I'm going to glue this piece right here. I will end up um, screwing it in. I found some screws that should work. So I will screw it in.
to see I put some weight on the bottom just to keep to get the legs going curing without moving and now I'm going to assemble a little box on top here so I'm going to assemble it off and then I'm going to glue it on once I measure exactly where I want it to go so now I'm going to glue them I'm going to put the glue on the bottom and on the sides this one turns out it's a little bit shorter and I'm just tired of cutting so I have these pin sticks that I have had left over from a project so I'm just going to score it and put it in just so there's no gap there we go perfect and I'm gonna this one's perfect That's the beauty of working with wood. <laughs> one's too tight, other one's too uh, small. figure out where exactly I want this on top and then I'm going to just give it a rough measure and I'm going to glue it I think it should technically be an inch and then about an inch and about an inch just a smidgen over and since it's not glued on yet, I'm just going to put some glue on it. I don't know why I put glue on there, but there and there. to put the weight on top and let this dry for a whole day so now I continue with painting it and I'm using the linen white as the first coat so I'm gonna continue painting but I'm not gonna bore you with it I'll come back when it's all painted so here it is and I have decided actually to maybe even add some French linen by Annie Sloan chalk paint but I'm going to dry brush this paint on so if you don't know what the dry brush technique is you dip the paintbrush lightly into the paint and then you almost dab almost all of it off so your brush is almost dry and then you just brush it light gently over the areas where you want it to show so 
So I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll come back before I uh, show you with the gray. Show you what that looks like. I think it just gave it a little bit of a, I'm, I think I'm going to go for like a bit of a coastal look. But it's not done yet, so I'll show you what it looks once I add the gray, the French linen. So I kind of started with the French linen. It's kind of hard to see. I'll give you a bit, a bit of a better close-up. And I'm you doing the same type of technique that I was doing with the, the other paint. Just very dry brushing just think it's gonna give the lantern so much more depth I guess or I don't even know what it, this would be called texture and I do love the way it's turning out so I will continue and then I'll give you a close-up so here it is I think I'm done I love 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 the way this turned out it looks so rustic and um, coastal a little bit farmhousey I don't even know it looks like a Sonia style so I'm going to attach a piece of uh, jute rope over here just for like a, a handle and I'm just gonna do it with hot glue so here it is and it's just the stuff you buy at the dollar store finished I just so I just put that vase in there just to give you an idea how tall it is you can put a tall candle or you can even hang a pot from the top of it to kind of have like a hanging basket I mean the possibilities are endless I will be using it most likely on my front porch once the weather gets nicer so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up if this is your first time stopping by uh, I would love for you to consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell. And make sure you go check out Sandra's I can video. I can't wait to see uh, what type of a lantern she's building. And if you stop by her channel, let her know that I sent you and give her some love. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>